In a twinkling, the cat climbed up the tree. The duck quacked, but in her excitement, jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf. He was getting nearer, 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 catching up with her. Her. And in one gulp, <coughs> swallowed her. And now, dear audience, this is how things stood. The cat sitting on one branch of the tree. The bird on another one. but not too close to the cat. and around the tree, looking up at them with his greedy eyes. In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate watching all that was going on. He ran home, got a strong rope and climbed up to the stone wall. One of the branches of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of one branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, fly down and circle over the wolf's head. Only take care he doesn't catch you.
The bird almost touched the wolf's head with his wings while the wolf snapped angrily at him from this side and that. <laughs> How the bird worried the wolf, and the wolf wanted to catch the bird. But the bird was cleverer, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso and carefully letting it down. <laughs> Caught the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. But Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolves jumping only made the rope around his tail tighter and tighter. <laughs> <laughs> 